Hi and welcome to Premium Builds, I'm John. If you stumbled across this video or you're a subscriber to our channel, it's likely because you're researching what are the best PC parts to buy. I'm sure by now the pain points of going through the part selection process are obvious, so I want to introduce you to a tool we've created to take the pain out of that process and ensure you get the best PC possible. It's called buildpicker.com and it's online now for you to try out. In this video I'll show you how it works and I'd also like to ask for your help in trying it out and giving us feedback on how we can improve it. I'm sure by now you're aware of the challenges of picking the right PC parts. There's the issue of knowing which parts are optimal for your needs and then which parts will work well together and which are optimised to get the best performance. Then of course there's the problem of YouTubers and other news outlets promoting builds with artificially low pricing just to get their clicks. It's incredibly frustrating. I'm going to show you how you can get a great gaming PC for just $700. Ah, oh, this looks great! I spend a lot of my time looking at Facebook Marketplace adverts and that's where I found this great deal for an EVGA RTX 3080 for just $51 shipped from China. Ah, oh, give me a break bro. Static part lists quickly go out of date, with parts changing price or availability, which puts you back to square one. How can you know which reviews are trustworthy, which tier lists have actually been maintained and have expert input, and which parts might have hidden compromises? It's a real struggle to research components, arrive at a good option, and then find out that it's out of stock or overpriced right now. It can result in analysis paralysis, or overpaying for parts that you could get much better options for. And of course there's just so much information out there. It's not reasonable to expect any person who isn't fully in tune with the industry to review all the information around SSDs, RAM, graphics cards and CPUs all at the same time just in order to get a good value for money PC from components they've chosen themselves. Best value B660 motherboard, the Tomahawk. What, so the cons are that it supports DDR4 memory? But I thought I wanted DDR4 memory. Guess I better look for a PSU, I need one of those as well. This is rating system here. A tier, what does that mean? Again, they are ideally fitted for powerhouse products and demanding styles. Power supply units are mostly too similar to the terms and conditions of a certain service that are actually ignored. However, if you are searching for the latest PSU tier list, you may must be familiar with the products and its importance with gaming. Here's the best and most reliable. Wow, again, I don't think these guys have ever actually seen a power supply. I've got a lot of adverts though. Build Picker aims to solve these problems for you. It provides up-to-date, optimised PC build lists because it works differently from other sites. Behind the scenes it works like this. We've got a database full of thousands of current components. There's over 700 GPUs, 2000 RAM kits, 1000 SSDs and 700 motherboards in there. If it's up-to-date and current it's in our database. We've then gone through and done the hard work for you, assessing and analysing these components for their performance and viability. We've graded them into tiers or groups of components that are functionally interchangeable. Then we've defined build lists, formulas that pick parts from those tiers and place them into build lists for you depending on the purpose and budget of the PC in question. We also define upgrade and downgrade options within the scope of the PC use case to allow users to tune a PC to their preference or budget. Every day pricing and stock are refreshed and the best value option is inserted into the build. We think this is a better way to get you the best PC for your money. The advantages are It approaches the problem from the other angle. It shows you how much you need to spend for a given level of performance or usage case and it avoids the trap of advertising PCs at prices that are simply unattainable. It eliminates bad products by excluding them from the database. We've watched the reviews, interpreted the tier lists and importantly bought and tested components ourselves so that we can be sure of the recommendations we're making. We've done that hard work for you. It widens your search to include good products that you may not have considered. RAM for example has just four manufacturers but many brands and actually when you get down to the nuts and bolts of it you can interchange a lot of kits for identical performance. The same can be said of things like SSDs where there are some really good options, perhaps from brands you haven't heard of, and for a budget build they can make great sense. This can save you money or get you more performance. It allows a user to tweak the build to their preference by offering sensible upgrade and downgrade choices. All the parts have been selected, graded and are in stock and available at the current pricing. It eliminates incompatibilities and ensures that any build is optimal for its intended purpose. And if you've got some parts already selected or even bought, you can still use this tool to get the best value for the rest of the parts you need. So please do check this site out. We'd like you to have a click round, play with the builds, see what it suggests for you, and feed us back your experience. 
we are making the following improvements already. It's currently restricted to Amazon.com and the US market. We're working to bring other major retailers on board to include even more of the market. We're going to add some suggested accessories like keyboards, mice, and fan upgrade kits to complete your PC build. We're constantly reviewing the market, updating the build formulas and adding new components to get you the best value for money. Currently, we're working at getting the new Ryzen CPUs integrated into the builds and working out the builds where it makes sense to select for them. We're working every day to improve this tool and make it as good as it can be, but we'd love your help with that. So please do get onto buildpicker.com, have a look round it, and see what builds it's suggesting for you. Please feedback your experience to us, good or bad. Let us know what kind of builds it's suggesting and where you think it can be improved. We'd love to hear what you think and where we can improve it. So check out buildpicker.com.